Venus, Earth's closest neighbor, the most luminous object in the sky after the sun and our moon. At dawn or dusk, a shepherd's guide. The planet is Earth's near twin in size, but the two have little else in common. Venus is named after the Roman goddess of love, but there's little lovable about it. Abandon hope, all ye who enter here, a truly Dantean inferno. Indeed, Venus is a hellish place. Temperatures reach 470 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead, with a crushing atmospheric pressure 90 times that on Earth. Venus was the first planet to be explored, a natural target for the first space probes. The American Mariner 2 spacecraft flew by it in 1962, discovering that the planet had no magnetic field and confirming the extreme surface temperatures beneath the thick clouds. In the 70s and 80s, a flotilla of spacecraft arrived with balloons and descent probes returning a wealth of data on the atmosphere's chemical composition and also pictures of the surface before the landers were overcome by the harsh conditions. Subsequent orbiters produced radar maps, including the very detailed ones from NASA's Magellan mission in the early 90s. Data allowing 3D views of stunning landscapes with vast plains, plateau and high equatorial regions, craters and lava flows. For over a decade, Venus was a forgotten planet. Today, with so many unresolved scientific questions, a new phase of exploration was overdue. Europe has responded to the challenge, dispatching Venus Express to better understand the nature and radically different evolution of Earth's twin. In uh, previous missions to Venus, the missions have been very specific for uh, looking at a phenomena. We're more interested in looking at the global aspect of Venus, and for that we have seven instruments. Uh, since the beginning of the mission, the European Space Agency has decided to embark a large number of instruments to look at the, the large picture of Venus from the surface down to the outer reaches of the planet. The spacecraft will be making the first global examination of the atmosphere of Venus, an atmosphere which compared to Earth's has in a way gone mad. Composed essentially of carbon dioxide, it has become a greenhouse paradise, literally choking the planet. Incident sunlight is trapped and cannot radiate out into space as on Earth. No other planet in our solar system has surface temperatures so high. The clouds are laced with droplets of sulfuric acid created by the action of sunlight on the carbon dioxide, the sulfur compounds and the water vapor. An intriguing phenomenon at an altitude of 80 kilometers is the absorption of ultraviolet wavelengths, a possible indication of biological activity. Biologic activity is something that, uh, of course, is a very hot topic, and we can imagine places in the atmosphere of Venus uh, where, for example, we have these ultraviolet absorbers. There we have the conditions which are not too far from the Earth's conditions in terms of pressure and temperature. And if something like that is going on, this is the right place. The movements in this atmosphere constitute another mystery. There are gentle breezes at ground level, but at higher altitudes, hurricane force winds sweep around the planet. The strong winds may be related to another anomaly. The planet's axis of rotation is inclined three degrees, but compared to Earth, it spins backwards, making the sun rise in the west and set in the east. And a Venusian day lasts an eternity, 243 Earth days, to make a complete rotation. Solar wind particles are deflected around our own planet but the magnetic field of our neighbor is so weak that such radiation continuously strikes and depletes its upper atmosphere, possibly explaining how the planet has lost the water it had in earlier times. Venus Express will also investigate another interaction, that of the atmosphere with the planetary surface. Scientists are eager to understand why Venus, formed four billion years ago, looks so young there are virtually no small impact craters. Its entire surface appears to be only some 500 to 800 million years old. Fairly recently, in geological terms, uh, about 500 million years ago, there was uh, quite a, a dramatic global resurfacing of material coming up from below and, and filling out all the old craters and, and wiping out all history and creating a completely fresh new surface. This is not exactly known why it was, but we have the record from this.
to see an active volcano with all what comes with it, it would be a great thing. Previous missions to Venus have detected areas that greatly reflect radar signals. Bright areas are usually characteristic of moist soil, but since water cannot exist on the surface, the material might be semiconducting or metallic compounds such as iron pyrite, also known as fool's gold. Europe's first venture towards Venus will collect data on the planet's environment of great importance for us on Earth. The Earth's atmosphere is currently uh, suspected to have a problem with carbon dioxide and causing the greenhouse effect. Uh, it's clear that on Venus there is a lot of carbon dioxide and we know the greenhouse effect is occurring on Venus. Uh, Venus is a very similar planet to Earth in many ways, and yet it is so different. And of course we want to understand is it possible that Earth has uh, a future similar to Venus? We hope not, but we want to know. And so the shepherd star will again be guiding the way.